How you doing guys? I'm back with my guitar talking about some new gear, brand new gear that I get my hand, got on my hands on. And a lot of you people know about these type of tuners, these clip-on tuners that you um, put on the headstock here. And then, you know, it, it picks up the resonation of the guitar through the neck and uh, helps you tune the instrument. I'm a bit of an advocate of tuners because I think there's nothing worse than listening to somebody play guitar out of tune, especially if they're doing like on a semi-professional capacity, like which in my books is playing it in public place. Uh, if you want to play out of tune, do it in your bedroom. Fine, anything more than that. <sighs> please, 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 please tune your guitar. And if you if you have any doubt about your abilities, which most of you really should have, because not a lot of you have really good ears, uh, use a tuner because it trains your ear to hear it in tune. Then better. And um, anyway. I am not a big fan of those headstock tuners for a couple of reasons. For for, for starters, like this beautiful uh, Martin here, uh, there's like there's decades, you know, uh, well actually more than a century of uh, hard work gone into uh, building their brand and you know the, the beautiful logo and the headstock and all that sort of stuff. So we'll put this ugly clamp and hide it. No. I can understand people going like, I don't want to endorse anybody because. Um, they don't pay me money. That's fine, I understand it, but I'm more than happy to uh, show people that, you know, I, I use Martin, they don't pay me anything for saying that. It's just a wonderful guitar, and I, I believe in the company's uh, products. Simple as that. Anyway, so, the good people at the Daria came up with something that I oh, not only think that is aesthetically more pleasing to me, Personally, which is um, nothing to do with anything else than my own ego, I suppose, or my own uh, vanity. But uh, hey, I'm a human being as well. But also, I think I think the theory behind it is better. I think it's going to be more fast, more accurate, uh, and more responsive tuner this way. Um, so, long and behold, the Dario Planet Waves NS Micro Sound Hole Tuner. Woohoo! We have one of them here. Um, the good people at the Dario, thank you Don, thank you Lane, sent me a bag full of stuff. And this was one of them, and I was actually asking about this, these tuners before. Uh, because the sessions that I do in a party house, um, I usually borrow other people's tuners because I don't like the look of them. And I don't, uh, I just, I, I don't get on with those tuners so well. Um, I did notice that a friend of mine, Dave, who plays the banjo, um, the other banjo player in the session, this Dave O'Brien, uh, Dave used a Dario tuner that clipped onto the headstock kind of behind it, and, and it seemed to be really nice and subtle, and you know, I like that subtle thing. So, let's check this baby out. I have one here, just out the box. That's how it looks like, right? So the battery is behind, underneath it. The tuner information is here. Uh, this is your screen. You have uh, on button and then you have a plus button where you can change the uh, the degrees. Um, so if you know if you don't want to stick to 440, if you want to go higher than 440, like 443, for example, you can change that, um, which I probably won't be doing anyway. And it has a little clip here. I'll show it as close as possible. A little clip here. Uh, so you all want the tuner here while I'm while I'm at it. A uh, little clip here at the top, which goes onto your sound hole of your guitar. So here, check this out. This is this is how complicated the actual installation of this baby is. Right? Are you ready? <sighs> Let's do this. Yeah. There we go. Installation over. The tuner is in there. As you can see, I can see the tuner from where I sit. From front, all you can see is this little, little piece of plastic on the sound hole, which really doesn't bother me that much at all. Like that's as discreet as it gets. 
and the tuner it's it's right it is very nice and responsive Tuners themselves are really, really lightweight, so they, it doesn't add any weight to the top of the guitar. It doesn't restrict it in any way. Um, yeah, according to the Dario, uh, it, it stays on for 10 minutes and then it goes to switch itself off. All you have to do is press the one button there and it activates itself again. Um, I think this is. I think this is. It's such a simple idea. It's, it, to me that is it's genius it's just simply genius because as you can see it's 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 just there you know it's it's just flickering there and gives you the notes and it's and the beauty is I can leave it there like I mean obviously if you had like you know you know the one of the old school uh, lacquer finishes I wouldn't but I mean this guitar it's 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 the modern stuff. <laughs> uh, it it it's well able to take it. I could I could just I could literally just forget it and leave it there. I'm not gonna forget it behind. I'm gonna knock it off. Uh, all the problems that I would have had with this type of tuner, which don't take get me wrong, these are still great tuners. Uh, this solves all those problems. I, I, I love it. I love the simplicity of it. Okay, I'm a big fan of Boya Tadario. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a big fan of Boya of their products purely because they come up with these things that just simply work. Planet Wave leads. I absolutely love them, and I only use them on my uh, on my gigs for past. I don't know, past probably twelve. 13 years now I absolutely love them I think they're the best to me they're the best product out there um, you know you can get fancier leads but the kind of your return on the money I think they're just such a high-end quality product and with a reasonable price this tuner is another one of them I have another one as I talk about the uh, thing to fix the problems I had with my uh, jack hole that I heard they have a new product out which I'm still waiting to get my hands on one of them uh, and I will talk about that when it comes out. But just, and they still keep on innovating on their the basic product with the strings as well, like which these uh, nick, nickel bronze strings are uh, good proof, like uh, just amazing, amazing, amazing sounding strings. Like just. <sighs> Dario, thank you for once again making something that just simply works. It's not a gimmick, it's just simple and, you know, I can forget about it, I'll leave it there. Put in a case. No worries about it. Absolutely brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to be putting a test in the next uh, couple of weeks um, and I will report back to you guys how I'm getting on with that tuner, um, all the aspects of it, how I feel the battery life is and all that sort of stuff. I would ex expect the battery life to be pretty much the same as any other tuner at that, that level because there isn't that much um, going on behind the, the, the tuner face that, that is different from any other tuner. But yes, uh, that is my first impressions of the NS Micro Sound Hall Tuner from Tadario Planet Waves. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And as I said, there will be a giveaway of um, from Tadario coming up very, very shortly. I will be giving away one of these and I'll be giving away a few other things. But more on that later, probably next week. So um, to make sure you don't miss those, um, those videos for the giveaway as well and, and the, the details of what you need to do to be part of the, take part in the giveaway.
don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Um, right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon again.